if we uh, z scores are given then the question will be really easy but like these questions sometimes we need to find z score first and then find the corresponding x value as well okay so look at this example in a survey of women in the US the mean height of 64.1 inches with a standard deviation of 2.71 inches what height represent the 95th percentile here okay so uh, just to make you understand better if I draw the picture for this basically some value here so that this z-score has the cumulative area value holding here that will be the 95 percent okay so that's 95 percent here okay which means you need to go to z table and then find corresponding z-score okay now you look really carefully you know which value is given uh, does this question uh, gives you z-score or area value it means area value not the z-score therefore when you look at this z table you need to look at inside here inside not the this column on this row here you must look at inside value okay? so let's find out 0.95 Okay, 0 0.95. Uh, when I look at, okay, I can see either this one or this one, right? I don't see exactly 0 0.95, but I can find two closed value of uh, 0.9495 and then 0 0.9505. Okay, I'm sure 95 is between those two values, right? Okay, then find the corresponding z-score first so when I see that uh, they are 1.64 and the 1.65 right okay so we know the 1.64 that is the 0 0.9495 and the 1.65 equal to 0.95 or 5 here then now you need to find which one is actually closer to 95% so I'm gonna find the difference between 0 0.9500 okay this one difference here uh, you can actually uh, subtract either direction we just want to find out the distance anyway so 0 0.9495 minus 0 0.9500 equal to 0.0005 so their distance become 0.0005 okay now how about this interval here so 0.9505 minus 0.9500 equal to uh, 0.0005 so 0.0005 well when you look at here the distance are exactly same here right okay uh, at this point you, you need to find the mean value here therefore you just combine uh, these two z-score and find your mean so 1.64 plus 1.65 over 2 then you will get 1.645 so that z-score has the area value 95 percent good okay now we know z score here so x equal to uh, mu plus z times sigma therefore you can do that um 64.1 plus 1.645 times 2.71 if you calculate that you will get so 64.1 plus 1.645 times 2.71 so that we will get 68.558 okay 
that will be the answer for A.